It is becoming a very common practice in the Nigerian politics that godfathers make their sons. We are here to find out on the streets of Nigerians whether or not if the concept should be a principle that should be practiced in Nigerian politics. Do you believe in godfatherism? No, I don't believe Now, it. why is the godfatherism a problem? Why it's a problem is if we have a godfatherism in Nigeria, there will not be infrastructure in this country. They cannot allow the governors to work. You cannot see any, you cannot see any to work in this country. No development, nothing. This road, you cannot get in this road. Who is, who is a godfather? Godfather, from example, they say their godfather is the person who will make them. Nobody can make any woman be except God. If you know, say, you have your, your, your papers and everything. Like me, if I want to go to contest this, I want to go and contest anything. I don't need any man. What thing I need is to make sure my document is okay and people will vote for me. I don't need anybody to come and say, oh, I'm your godfather. You, I, you need to pay homage if you are coming and give 10 million, 21 billion. No. Okay, so how are we going to remove that godfatherism in this country? Are we going to kill them or are we going to shoot them or what do you want us to do? No, we are not going to kill them. We need to tear them. You need, we need to go and meet people. If you get people, like now if I want to contest election, I will go back to my grassroots and meet my people and tell them see what I want to do for them. If my people vote me, nobody can change it. Godfatherism is not godly. It is anti-development. People, people should be given equal opportunity to emancipate, to develop. Not somebody coming to buy everybody. So now how are we going to... Acceptable. How, how are we going to remove the godfatherism away from Nigeria now? Are we going to shoot them? Are we going to catch them? How are we going to just take them out? You see, there is need to catch the people that have stolen our money. There is still need to catch them and recover our money from them. When we have recovered, because for as long as they are still holding our money, they will still use it to corrupt the system. So we must make sure that we recover our money from them then equal opportunity for everybody. That's how we, there is no other way out. For as long as this money is with them, they will continue to corrupt the system. So as, long as, the, as long as they continue to have this money and you don't take the monies away from them, then they will continue to be godfathers? They will continue to corrupt the system with the money. That is the truth and nothing but the truth. And they will be called godfathers? Of course. When, you, when one man plans, Senators plans a uh, uh, House of Representative members, plans House of Assembly members. He calls the shot. He decides what happens everywhere. So who is a godfather? A godfather. <laughs> in, in the Nigerian context today, in the, in the political system, these corrupt politicians that have stolen our money and they are using our money to corrupt the political system, they are the godfathers. Where as a child of God, the Bible says you should not call anybody a father. That he only is the God, the Father, the Son of the Holy Ghost. The issue of Godfatherism in our generation now came, can I say, mostly as politics line Most people say this man is my father, this and that. And the Godfatherism it's a very bad thing that I can say. Because once you have a father, if you are not a good candidate, but you have somebody that is in there, they will appoint you in that position. That is why corruption is bombarding our nation. And I pray that God Almighty will intervene. I don't agree with God, Father. So how do you think we can, we can cope it? How we can cope it is to, 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 to let the masses know that this is not right. They should stand on their right. Nobody should come and influence them because I have a godfather and the godfather will go there bribing people, giving money, they give this my candidate. If you give him something, you are doing it for me. The masses should reject that. It's not the right thing to do. I can look at it from many perspectives. If you are asking me, do I personally subscribe and endorse yes. it? Or 
Is it a real factor in our environment, political or whatever? I think you will be very myopic and ignorant if you say that there is no godfatherism, especially in Nigeria, in our political space, even in our economic space, and even our social lives. So definitely there is godfatherism. Okay, so what do you think about it? Do you think it's okay, especially in a political system? Is it fine? Is it okay? Godfatherism is broad space. Okay. Mentoring is godfatherism. Exactly. But there can also be criminality, immorality right. in godfatherism. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, you have political landlords yes. who just bring in some other people to come and replace them, and then they collect political rent. That's why you find that most of the governors, ex-governors, are in loggerhead with their successors. Yes, exactly. Now you look at a very responsible and respectable man like um, Adam Soshomole, mm -hmm. a man who came into the political space bringing in, promising a little bit of fresh air, yes. a man who advocated one man, one vote, a man who had been uh, supposedly in the vanguard of the workers, leading the vanguard for the workers. Now he became a political actor, a governor for eight years. Now endorsing somebody else is good. But now if the fellow is not performing very well, let the people who have the one man, one vote, do their job. I don't subscribe for that at all. And I won't suggest it at all. And I don't encourage anybody that I know to be involved in that. All, all my life, what I always encourage is competence. You don't, you don't have to have anybody. You have to work hard. Be confident in the field that you are. You don't need a godfather. And, 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 and through, through struggle, through, through, through effort, you find out that you get to stand. Well, it's quite unfortunate but, uh, be, uh, because uh, that is what is dominating the country. You understand? Godfatherism. If you don't have God, a godfather, no matter how competent you are, you just be stranded. I'm a programmer, and I can tell you that as many that I must have seen my face, they know that with experience and competence, I've proved myself. But I don't have anybody to stand, maybe in the government, or do one thing or the other to be recognized. You understand? Somebody standing between me and maybe the government. I, do, I get to do a job, and then he gets to present, because he has a godfather. What I have is competence. Okay, so wait, are you saying that uh, most of the time, the godfathers um, use incompetence most of the time, is that what you're saying? Most of the time, they just use the people that they feel will, will agree to whatever manipulation they have. You understand? So, I wouldn't say they use uh, people that are incompetent, but most of the time, they don't consider competence. They just consider people that will work for them. They, they consider their ally, people that will work to meet up their plans. Do you think that uh, Godfatherism, the system, and the concept of the Godfatherism in, in the first place, is it, uh, it anti-development or it is development? Anti-development. Completely anti-development. I can assure you that when you look around, you find so many youth. These are competent guys. They don't have Godfather. They are from nowhere. Most, most of the time, people that, that have Godfather are people they call the elite or people that have a name in the society. So, so how do we get this out? We have to, we have to strategize, we have to have a concept, a constitution that stands against that. We have to work based on comp uh, competence. Whatever we have to do, we have to uphold competence by all means. Forget issue of Godfatherism. Once somebody comes and he's competent, it doesn't matter where he comes from. Godfatherism has actually scrapped out competence, you understand? All right. That, that is why when you look around, you see things messing up in this country. You understand? I, don't, I just lack much to express how I feel within me. The concept of Godfatherism in Nigeria is not good for our development. Yeah. And because they are always acquiring weight to themselves wait for themselves and also bring in a mix. Today you said this man is good, tomorrow saying this man is not good, it's crazy. So the world that was supposed to do what? The weight that's supposed to be, you know, used for, you know, for 
for development of a nation, they are acquiring it for themselves. What kind of development of the nation are we talking about? You know, fixing of roads, building schools, you know, building, bringing in technologies and all of that. There are many more. You know, that, that's, that is really been a mess since 1960. So how can you describe who a godfather is in one sentence? Who is a godfather? Is it that a godfather is a thief? or a godfather is a devil, or a godfather is not, they should rule that God out. How do you describe godfather in one sentence? A godfather is a somebody that, you know, that, that, you know, that, you know, puts you in a job and expecting you to, expecting a feedback from you. I don't know if you get that right. Yeah, so according yeah. to you now, yeah. how do you think you can summarize a godfather in this country? in your own words and the way you feel that godfathers are. Godfathers are businessmen. These are the reactions of Nigerians vehemently expressing their dissatisfaction on the concept of godfatherism. Quite interesting and from the response one can easily deduce that the general disposition is unfavorable to the phenomenon of godfatherism in the political settings in Nigeria. But is there a better alternative to godfatherism? We'll go on a quick break and when we return, we will take a look at mentorship as an alternative to godfatherism. Join us again. Throughout the nation, nobody will find us will happen. We hope so. We can do anything. We are ready to die for our right. Don't fight, don't be anything. Just go and watch and sit there and wait for the results. Cut a slice of the north central Nigeria with its raw mix of cultures, treasures, and amazing people. Bask in the vibrant glory of the beauty of nature with striking landscapes. And next the best from agriculture commerce and entrepreneurship. Put in a mix of local politics and governance from a resourceful people with amazing lifestyles and you are right in the center of the northern Nigeria. North Central Journal, a compendium of people, places, news and views, all in an amazing mix that bears it all. What? 